I still often get the question, what's the difference between an LPDA and a Yagi? Now, they're not even related, you know, that's like Italian and the Chinese. I mean, there is no relationship between them, but they have got a little bit of a looks that's similar. Now, here you can see an LPDA. Now, LPDA is characterized by elements that taper, okay, taper downwards. Um, for those who look a little bit more carefully, you will also see that the feed line goes here, feeds it, and all the elements are effectively fed by a dual boom. Now, if you go look at the Yagi, you know, Yagi is really stuck from the old TV era for the ground-based stuff. Very narrow band, because that guy there, and you can see the picture, has got directors that's roughly the same length. Then it's got this big reflector, sometimes a sort of complicated V section behind the antenna. And then it's got typically one folded element, and only that element is fed. Now the problem with that antenna, and why it says unrelated as family member, is that it's very narrow band. So it never will work for cellular, even 900, 1800. It cannot cover 2 to 1 bandwidth. It can cover the 900 meg band, so forth, but really should be avoided because you're going to get trouble when the frequency changes broader frequencies are used.